All right, hey guys. So I have a really, really, really spicy deck profile for you guys today. Um, this is easily, easily, easily the most fun deck I have ever played in GOAT format. Um, it is a casual deck. Uh, not sure how competitive this could be, but it is easily the most fun I've had playing GOAT format. Um, other than playing uh, Reason to Gate, but this is like way more, it's even more fun than Reason to Gate in my opinion. It is a Reason Gate Fusion Gate deck um, and the whole point of the deck is to use fusion gate and uh, use these hex sealed cards uh, to summon you know all the boss uh, fusion monsters um, so if you don't know what fusion gate does um, it's a field spell card and you can banish monsters either from uh, your hand or the field to special summon a fusion monster um, that those cards are fusion materials for uh, and these hex sealed cards, there's two of them in this deck. Uh, there's a dark one and a light one. They can be used as any fusion material uh, for a fusion summon. Uh, the dark one, it has, or they both have the added effect of uh, being able to tribute them as well as another fusion material card on the field to special their respective uh, attribute fusion monsters from the deck. So what that means is if you have uh, the dark hex sealed on the field, and say uh, Blowback Dragon, you can tribute this card as well as Blowback Dragon to special summon a dark fusion monster, which in this case is uh, Gatling Dragon. And for the light one, you can use it to uh, special summon a light monster, which you would use with Thunder Dragon to special summon um, Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Uh, so that is the um, main point of the deck. You, you use Fusion Gate with these guys to bring out uh, Thunder Dragon, Gatling Dragon. Um, you also have a Dark Magician in here because you can use Fusion Gate to summon uh, Dark Paladin, which is kind of spicy. Um, something really important to note though is that Dark Paladin must be Fusion Summoned, so you cannot use the secondary effect of uh, Dark Hex Sealed uh, to tribute itself and Special Summon Paladin that way. It has to be summoned uh, through Fusion Gate. Um, so you're going to be banishing a lot because Fusion Gate banishes, right? And then you get to bring things back with Dimension Fusion, which is super nutty. Say, for example, you banish Blowback Dragon and Dark Hex Sealed uh, with Fusion Gate. You bring out Gatling Dragon. You can pop three cards on the field. Then you can, you know, potentially three cards on the field, three monsters on the field. Then you can use Dimension Fusion and bring back the Gatling Dragon, pop another card on the field, as well as the Hex Sealed. And that's already, what, 28, uh, 61, 7100 damage on the board right there, right? Um... Thunder Dragon just naturally fits in this deck because obviously um, it thins your deck out um, and you can fusion summon you know both Thunder Dragons for Twin Headed or one Thunder Dragon plus a uh, Hex Sealed uh, for Twin Headed. It's also a light which is nice because I'm playing uh, a BLS. So uh, BLS is just in here because BLS and uh, you're playing enough lights and darks to support it and it just synergizes really well with Dimension Fusion. If you banish uh, the blowback and um, you know twin headed thunder dragon or uh, hex sealed, you get them both back with the fusion. That's just pretty nasty. Um, what else? Um, that's pretty much it. I'm running triple roll decree in here because I don't want to deal with back row. This deck is gonna be making a whole bunch of beaters and whatnot, uh, and you don't want to lose the back row. Um, feels really bad to commit multiple cards to make like a twin headed and then just run into a sakuretsu. So this is in here. Um, another really another reason why this deck is incredibly fun is because of the side deck options. Um, specifically this card. Uh, this card is a really really spicy card. Uh, it's not played too much. Some people will tech it as a side deck card, but um, it's really nasty. What it does is you contribute it to take control of all face up level three monsters your opponent controls. Um, it's twelve hundred level three dark, uh, which is relevant. Because uh, 3 gets under, you know, Gravity Bind and Level Limit and Dark is good for, you know, BLS. Um, but this is really good against Control because you can tribute it and take control of all of your opponent's scapegoat tokens. And if Thousand Eyes, if they have that, uh, it's also good because it can steal your opponent's, like, Spirit Reaper, um, Panda, I guess, if you're playing Panda Burn. But the real spice is that this card is actually a fusion material for uh, Dark Balter. <laughs> so... Like, you side these both in. If you're playing Reasoning Gate, 
you can just smash them because um, this card is good because it steals your opponent's scapegoat tokens, but you can also fuse it um, to make Dark Balter turn one, uh, which is just nasty. Um, say that you bring it out off of Reasoning, then you can just normal summon the Dark Hexfield Fusion and tribute them both and make a Dark Balter, uh, which is super nice. Um, you're also playing Zombira in here because Zombira is actually a fusion material for uh, Last Warrior. So against uh, you know Reasoning Gate or Stein Gate, you can put this in as well to make Last Warrior. Um, Dark Blade makes um, Dark Blade. <laughs> it's a fusion material for Dark Blade, uh, the Dragon Knight, uh, which could be relevant against maybe Chaos. And then I just have some generic other uh, side deck cards in here. I have the Rotas to find the Zombiras and Dark Blades if I need to. I haven't extensively tested um, the Warrior package, but uh, the Possessed Dark Soul has been doing work. A um, couple more things to mention. Sangin is in here because if you tribute it with Monster Gate, then um, you get a search, obviously, and you can search any one of the Hex Seals. Um, and then also, Sangin is actually a fusion material for Sandwich, if you guys didn't know that. <laughs> like, normally you cannot make this card, because you need Witch of the Black Forest, which is banned in Go format, but you can actually make this card with Fusion Gate and uh, Sangin. If, if you have a Sangin on the field, you can either use Fusion Gate or you can use the Hex Sealed Fusion. If you use the Hex Sealed Fusion's effect and tribute the Sangin, then you'll get the Search, which is nice, and make a uh, 2100 beater. Otherwise, if you use Fusion Gate, it's going to get banished and you don't get it. Um, lastly, the, the other thing to mention here is that Call the Haunted and Premature Burial are really good in this deck because um, Fusion Gate actually summons the Fusion Monster properly. Like as opposed to Metamorphosis, where you're just special summoning the Fusion Monster, you're actually Fusion summoning it properly with Fusion Gate. So you can bring back your cards with Call the Haunted uh, and Premature Burial. And you can even bring them back with Dimension Fusion, which is absolutely nasty. Like if your opponent, um, you know, Chaos Sorcerer banishes or BLS banishes um, like a Gatling Dragon that you bring out, or a Dark Balter, um, you can bring them back with Dimension Fusion, which is so, 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 so nasty. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Um, yep, yeah, uh, let's get into the replays. Okay, I'll just play them fast forward here. Okay, so pretty good hand, start off with Thunder Dragons. Um, I'm not really sure what he, oh, he's playing a water deck, some sort of water control deck, I think. But, um, off the rip, doing pretty well. He calls four, but I'm not running four in the deck. That's another spicy part of this deck. The deck isn't running level four, and a lot of people are going to call level four for, uh, Crane. Uh, so, um, it's pretty good. I realized I accidentally cheated here because, uh, I'll pause it real quick. I accidentally cheated here because I tried to tribute the Hex Sealed plus a Dark Magician to bring out Dark Paladin, but like I said, it needs to be fusion summoned properly. Luckily, I had the fusion gate in my hand to bring it out, and I asked him if I could do that, and he said yes. Um, I just realized he actually has Mystical Space Typhoon, so he could have and probably should have done this. Um, yeah, not why, not sure why he didn't do that. Unless, unless I, no, no, yeah, I'm not sure why he didn't do that. Um, but this is a casual game, so. I messed up, I meant to set that. But um, I made the Dark Paladin and the BLS. And um, I let this go through because I just want to keep my cards in my hand and I don't, I don't really need the scapegoat right now. But he should have just chained that to the Fusion Gate and um, prevented me from bringing this guy out. But uh, he tries to Snatch Seal, I can negate that with Dark Paladin and he just surrenders right there. Game two. Hits me with the Delinquent, which hurts pretty bad. Yeah, he's playing some water control deck. These are all unranked games, by the way. But, yep, search the Hex Sealed with that. Uh, I'm holding the Graceful because he already used Duo, so I see no reason to use it. I'm just going to wait until a more opportune time. Okay, we're chilling. I don't want to waste a Scapegoat token on 800 damage. All right, I ripped the Graceful now. Pretty good. He called seven because he saw the Dark Magician from last game. <laughs> so that's tough. 
I decide to start blocking with the skill tokens. I take the 800. Pro tip, like, people are used to attacking with the lowest monster first uh, because maybe they've played, um, you know, more modern Yu-Gi-Oh! and they're, they're conditioned to do that because of gores, so they want to attack in lowest to highest. But you should really attack in highest to lowest because um, if your opponent has scapegoat, they might, you know, choose to take the lowest attack and, um, you know, save a scapegoat token, right? Uh, so I make, I make double twin headed. If you guys played Duel Links and you played it in the early days, like this was an actual deck using Fusion Gate and Thunder Dragon, so it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I made the double twin headed. He opts. Okay, so right here he misplays. He should have crashed the. Um, he should have crashed the Thousand Eyes into my twin headed so that he could take the Thunder Dragon next turn, but he doesn't do that. But whatever, he has game anyway because he brings up the Leviathan thing. All right, so I make a Dark Bolter first turn. I sided these guys in because I saw the scapegoats. So I make Dark Bolter first turn, which is pretty nasty. <laughs> I have another one, so I tributed to take all of his scapegoat tokens. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. Um, okay, so he, he torrentials me. But I get the Sengen Search for the Hex Sealed. It's fine. And I have the Call the Haunted for the Dark Balter. Um, okay, he's got Scapegoat, another Scapegoat. Okay. So I'm trying to clear the Scapegoats right now. Okay, he rings my Dark Balter. Fine. Um, I have my own ring for this uh, Mother Grizzly. He's premature. Um, I activate scapegoat in the end phase, use monster gate, rip a uh, demock. Um demock banishes his mother grizzly, so no um no monster for him. And then uh yeah, I fusion cave for Gatling Dragon. <laughs> kind of overkill right here, right? But um <laughs> I just wanted to do it. So there you go. That was a pretty pretty cool duel. Um I have this one right here. This one's a quick one because the guy rage quit, but I just want to show you guys what the deck can do. <laughs> so uh, I'm not sure what he's playing. Maybe some chaos deck. I don't messenger piece. That's weird, but I don't know what he's playing. But um, this is a pretty spicy game. So I don't want to go too hard right now because I have the scapegoat. I can stall. Uh, I set the brain control. Maybe I should not have, but I just did it because I didn't want to reveal what was in my hand and let him know what I'm playing. But uh, I bring out Gatling Dragon right now, um, and I have priority with that. So I mean, he's using Ring, but I have priority, so it doesn't matter. Okay, and I just drop the BLS and the Gatling, and that's a uh, fifty-six hundred damage. So easy clap. And then one more replay for you guys. This one is really spicy and uh, shows like the true potential of the deck. But uh, yeah, I'm going first. Rip the Thunder Dragon. Um, okay, so I opt to not take that uh, thousand. Get Hex Sealed, uh, Fusion Gate. Um, I make a Twin Headed right now. Let's see what he does here. He bottomless is that big mistake because I'm gonna come in hot with the Defusion later. Bring out uh, Dark Magician, but he hits me with the Torrential. It's fine. Um, I accidentally I messed up there. So uh, the Warrior Lady, I bring back the Dark Magician. He opts to not banish it. Mistake right there. Uh, hit him with the blowback. Let's see if I get this one. Ooh, there's one heads. Yep, so I sack him with the blowback. Hit him for 23. Nope, never mind. He has a scapegoat. Uh, he creature swaps me. Pretty nasty, but uh, I'm chilling right here. I got a scapegoat. And I already got defusion right here, so I can, you know, uh, whip these guys out. But I got the scapegoat, so there's no reason to push right now. I want to see uh, what I can draw here. Um, he misses it. Okay, so I fusion gate for Gatling. Use Gatling's effect. How many do I hit right here? Um, I only hit one heads, so I opt to kill the blowback. Oh no, I killed this because I don't want to deal with the damage, and I can just run over the blowback. Now his turn, okay, um, that was nice, but I got the spice right here. <laughs> I got the spice. Um, 
Let's see, do I get the double heads? Yep, I get the double heads. So bye bye. Ooh, rip the demock. Get a pot of greed in there. Um, hit him for a uh, game right here. Okay, I think I sided in the uh, the possessed Dark Souls because I saw the scapegoat. So it's gonna put in work here, I believe. Um, I don't hit the blowback effect, but that's fine. He snatch steals tributes it. Interesting. Okay, Chris is going for the plus off of the Parshath. That's fine. I monster gate, get lucky with the Demok. Um, I was thinking of getting back rain control and taking it and then drawing off of it and the monster getting it, but I thought the pot of greed was just better. Okay, so bam, get the blowback. Do I get the effect? Let's see here. I'm afraid it's another spirit reaper, so that's why I'm trying to pop it. Um Unfortunately, I don't get that, but Dimension Fusion. I could have made Blowback right here. I decided not to because I, if it's a flip effect, Dark Bolt is going to stop it, but I get uh, fucked by the Spirit Reaper. I take the Spirit Reaper with Possessed Dark Soul, <laughs> which is hilarious. Uh, no traps for you. No spells for you. Got a soft, uh, pretty strong lock right here. Um, I don't get the Blowback effect, but I just make a Gatling Dragon, right? So... <laughs> And um, I get it and uh, pop it and that's a uh, game. So, yep, uh, this is a deck. You guys should try it out. It's really fun. Like if you like fusion summoning and uh, you've been wanting to use fusion gate, like I've tried fusion gate decks before, but I haven't found like an efficient way to use it uh, because you're inherently going pretty neg off of fusion gate but um, it naturally synergizes really well with Dimension Fusion and then Reasoning just helps you get out you know your fusion materials like right, Reasoning and Monster Gate just whip out your fusion materials right away and you know whipping off Blowback Dragon is so sweet because you can use this effect with priority um, and then make a Gatling Dragon and basically like clear your opponent's whole field so uh, yeah let me know what you guys think um, I'm still thinking I'm still working on the ratios of the hex seals I might cut one light I think the dark is more important than the light because um, there's just more things that you can make with it. Like, uh, well, I guess it's just the Sangin and the blowback, really. But the light one only makes twin headed thunder dragon, so it's uh, less important. But um, I'm, I think five is pretty good. Um, you see them when you want to see them, and then the light just helps uh, with BLS as well. So let me know what you guys think. Peace.